Good morning and welcome to another episode of Deb's Artsy Life. This is episode three and today is July the 3rd and I took the day off today and so I have no makeup on and I didn't want to put it on because I'm just having a day at home. So I decided to do a video without makeup. I'm working on so many things and I just keep ordering yarn. I got more colors of the basics because it was on sale. So I ordered a royal blue and an aqua and another of each of these beautiful colors. So what I'm doing with them is I am making this blanket for my daughter's grandmother my ex-mother-in-law who is in the nursing home so this will be um like a little throw for the foot of her bed i don't know if you can see it but this yarn complements these colors of basics so well this is line brand heartland um well here it is let's just look at it black canyon tweed and I love, it's got all of those little flecks in it that are the color of the basic yarn. So I'm working on this this morning. I've got only about 2 billion things that I want to be working on. And there's never enough hours for me. But um, I'll show you all the things I've been working on. My brain just can't do one thing at a time. This is... A knitted scarf that I've been working on I finished the one I think I showed you in my last video I finished the one with the uh, that Melody Weed gave me at the fiber festival this is yarn that I purchased from Amazon because it is so beautiful it's called bluegrass and you can't I can't find it in stores I've only seen it on Amazon but it's 20% wool and 80% acrylic. It is washable. Um, so anyway, this is just the garter stitch. Just the knit stitch. Um, and I was able to join my yarn in with no problem. To join in the second ball. So that was an accomplishment. And I've managed to do this without any huge mistakes. So that's another accomplishment. Now, this is something I'm knitting. And this is my second try on this. And this is, um, I've been practicing the <clears throat> stockinette stitch for a while. Um, and I, I have mastered it on this little swatch here. Um, I'm very proud of this. This is the knit stitch border so that it doesn't curl because I did a project and had gotten pretty far on it. It was a scarf. I guess it was going to be a scarf. It was using that, um, it was using this same yarn. And I was doing it and I had gotten pretty far and it was curling because it has to have some type of border to keep the stockinette stitch from curling in on the sides. So I just frogged that. And um, this is um yarn be chunky um yarn be something something chunky i don't know but it's so soft and squishy and i love it and i went up a needle size to six and a half it calls for six but the six and a half just worked better for me at least and so i've been working on that the problem with knitting is I can't watch TV and knit at the same time because I have to pay attention to what I'm doing. Now, for my yarn acquisition, I am so excited. I went to um, Winston. Well, I shouldn't. Anyway, it's, it's, uh, I went to Joanne in Winston. That was my big thing with my friend. And we hadn't done anything in a while together. So, well, in years. 
we had the best time Friday. I took off work Friday, so I've had a, it will be a five-day weekend. I don't have to go back until Wednesday. So I'm excited. But this is what I wanted to get at Joann's. And guys, I got such a deal on this. This yarn was priced at $11.99 a skein, which I would never pay that much. I just would not. But it is so soft and so squishy. It's Karen Colorama Halo, the perfect phasing. And I absolutely adore this color. It's called Amber Ocean. But I got four skeins of this, and they let me use um, the coupon twice. I had a 60% 60 60 off coupon, and I was able to use it twice. So I got four, four, well, okay, this is what happened. First, she let me use it twice, and I got two skeins, and these two. And then she gave me another, I got another coupon for 60% off when I checked out. So I went back and got two more skeins and used the other 60% off coupons. So these are priced at $11.99 and I got them for a little over $4 a piece. And I am so excited because I got all the colors that I really wanted. Um, I got the... Sea and Sky, which is exactly what that looks like. It's just gorgeous. And I love greens and blues. And then I got the um, Ivy and Olive. And I think you could actually use these two in a project. And then these two in a project. Um, this is the Amber Ocean. And this is the Magenta and Mandarin. So I am thrilled with these. They are so soft and squishy, and I can't decide, though, if I'm going to knit. My plan, I think, is to knit maybe a blanket scarf. I don't know. I, I need to practice my knitting skills, so that's probably what I'll do with this. Okay, and my other project I'm working on is, I mean, it's just ridiculous. I'm working on a blanket for the front bedroom in these colors and I have got this huge <laughs> bag full of yarn premier um, anti-peeling everyday worsted and here's the, the next square and I'm joining um, as I go but but I'm not using a joining round I'm using different you know, I'm doing 10 round squares. And so I don't know how that's going to look. I'm, I'm thinking about doing the little um, daisy centers. Um, and I think I will incorporate that somehow. This is a whole different yarn, whole different project. But that's the idea. Okay. Um, the other thing is um, my artwork. I've got, um, oh my goodness, my daughter uh, was at a coffee shop in town and she saw a piece of my artwork. It was a five by seven um, painting that I did and I made copies of it and I have been selling it or it is for sale in the local bookstore, which is also a gift shop. And it just thrilled me that she 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 uh, texted me a picture of it. And she was like, this is my mama's. And it was. It was one of my paintings that they had purchased at the gift shop and put in their coffee shop in town. And that just thrilled me. So it motivated me because I used to do these little five by seven um, pieces of artwork, usually still lifes, um, just totally from my imagination, not from... I didn't draw from life. I drew from memory because I love um, teacups and books and cozy settings inside the home. I mean, that just makes me happy. And I, teapots and, you know, coffee pots. And so um, I was doing a lot of those and selling them a few years ago. And, and it motivated me to want to get back into that. So, 
I've got um, a plan in the next two days to cut a bunch of five by seven pieces of um, paper from this huge amount of paper that I've got under my couch. So I just need to cut it into five by seven pieces so that I can um, work on some more of those little. My favorite um, way to work is small. I mean, because it's doable. I can do it, excuse me, while I put that back under the couch and get it where the dog can't get it. But anyway, <laughs> or the grandson, more importantly. Um, I love doing those little five by sevens because they're um, small and they give you, an, it's just like the granny squares. You get this great sense of accomplishment, but you don't have a lot of time invested in it. And you don't have to sell it for such a large amount of money because it's small and it's and it's a, a neat little card for somebody to pick up, to give to somebody. So anyway, I want to do more of those. And I'd like to, to share that process maybe with my uh, tutorial phone stand. Um, but again, there's, there's just not enough hours. Um, work has improved greatly, I think. I think it will improve greatly. And the stress of that is um, not going to be so much. And so... I hope to continue this channel, but it's been a great diversion from the work situation. And then once work got better, I, or once I, oh, good grief. I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyway, I struggle with doing a channel because I don't have a, I'm afraid of success. I mean, like if I had a hundred subscribers, I would just, I would just feel like I had to you know, satisfy them with content and do this on a, a consistent basis. So I don't know. I, I feel the pressure w once I start, but I love sharing and I love, um, well, I, I, I love it. So maybe I'll continue. Um, it's kind of in the early stages and I'm just feeling my way through. So anyway, making no promises. Um, I saw this lady who um, started um, a YouTube channel in during the pandemic, and now she has like over a hundred thousand subscribers. And I thought, oh my gosh, that would scare me to death, because then you would feel like you were indebted or you were uh, responsible to entertain and to inspire and to educate or whatever your YouTube channel is about all those hundred thousand people and that that would freak me completely out so i don't know how long i'll do this and i don't fully know what the purpose is but it's fun right now and as long as it's fun we'll keep going um i've been buying knitting needles like crazy look at this <laughs> i have got the knitting needles okay i've got circular needles which i haven't learned to use very well and I've got every imaginable size of um, straight needles. But anyway, I'm having a lot of fun with those. Um, but today, what's speaking to me is these beautiful, bright colors of basic yarn. Oh, my gosh. This is... This right here is so me. These are my colors. Bright, 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 bright. And this pattern is just making my heart happy. So I'm trying to decide, do I work on this today? Do I cut out five by seven pieces of paper? Do I finish a painting I've been working on in the studio? Do I go downstairs and clean out the basement and throw away all the old craft paint and straighten that area up? I mean, there's just... There's always, when I have a day off, this sense of urgency to make use of every minute because I have so many projects that I want to get done. And I got to go back to work Wednesday. So I don't know. The time just keeps flying. And when I crochet, the time really flies. I mean, it's just, I could spend all afternoon doing this 
and the time would just go. Um, oh, I got to tell you, on my shopping trip, I got a Fitbit, Versa 4. I had a Fitbit um, several years ago, and it kept breaking the band. And it wasn't a break in that you could replace the band. You had to replace the whole Fitbit because it was something in the design. Anyway, I did it four times and I got tired of it. So I got rid of the Fitbit, but I was really wanting another one. So when we went to uh, shopping on Friday, I went and got me a new Fitbit. And I am really enjoying it, but it tracks steps while I crochet. So it's not totally accurate, but I figure it at least helps track my sleep and um, all that. So that, that makes that that's good so anyway I don't have a whole lot more to share just look at this mm, I can't wait to start working with it but I've got to finish some of the other things I'm working on first so I hope everybody has a wonderful 4th of July happy Independence Day and I'll probably come on maybe some more to do a uh, not necessarily a tutorial but just a video where I share maybe the painting I'm doing, if I get in there to do any, all I want to do is crochet and knit. That's just, I'm obsessed with it. So anyway, have a wonderful fourth. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.